Imagine living in a village which is home to one of the best hotels in the whole of Spain. Yep, you guessed it. You could have the Belmond five-star luxury hotel on your doorstep. You could be sipping G&Ts on the Café Miro Terrace at the click of a finger. Anyway, as I was saying, before we get started, you have to know that Dea holds a very special place in our hearts at Charles Marlowe because our business was born here back in 2014 and we're lucky enough to have a beautiful office located just actually opposite this fantastic hotel along the Dea High Street. Let's begin with Dea's geographical location. So, Dea village sits sandwiched between the sea and the Tramontana mountains, which are UNESCO protected. And its location is unrivaled by, I would say, any village in the whole world. When you drive into Dea and you see the mountains and the village just almost kind of spilling into the sea, I can guarantee no matter what time of year, what time of day that you come into the village, you will be left telling your friends and family about that first time you drove into Dea for the rest of your life. And believe me, it never gets old. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need to Now one guy I am sure felt the exact same way when he first stepped into Day Village was Robert Graves. He was an English writer who was one of the first international creatives to arrive in Dea, which was back in 1929, I believe. And he used Dea as his inspirational base for his life until he, until he died. And ever since, Dea has been this magnet for drawing in creatives from all walks of life, whether it's artists, musicians, writers, architects, designers, you name it. Uh, it really has this special energy for connecting creatives with other creatives and drawing out inspiration from many creatives. It really has this special, undeniable energy for supporting the artistic community. And typically, where the artists go, the money eventually follows. And today, Dea is this luxury bohemian hub hidden in the mountains. We've got the five-star Belmont Residencia Hotel, which is just across the road from our office, might have mentioned that earlier, which has always been a big supporter of the artistic community in and around Dea. In the summer, you'll find countless events, some well heard of, others more intimate gatherings of artists and, and musicians expressing themselves through their work. Walk with me Let's leave the past behind Walk with We actually sold a house a few years ago now to a couple from the States who had never been today before. They stayed at the Residencia. 
They tried their hand at a painting class uh, in the village. They fell in love with Dea, fell in love with painting. Long story short, they bought a house in Dea, which actually turned out to be Robert Graves' old book house, which is just down the road here. And they restored the house. And fast forward a few years later, they actually ended up exhibiting their work at the Residencia. So talk about following your dreams and building the life that you really love. Let's go take a look at the house now. It's just down the road. people following their dreams. I'm sure many of you might be interested in renting or buying a home in Dea and a lot of questions that we get are where do I buy in Dea? Where do I rent? Where gets the most sun? Can I walk to the village? Can I walk to the sea? There's so many different little areas around Dea, each with their own little special charm and quirks. I'm actually in my favorite spot in Dea, I would say, which is we call High Dea, and it's just next to the Residencia Hotel, up behind. And the great thing about it is the houses get all day sun, which is fantastic, incredible mountains, sometimes even sea views, and views of the village, of course. And my favorite thing about it is that you can be at Dea's fantastic selection of bars and restaurants in a hop, skip and a jump, literally. It's a fantastic location and means you can have a few gin and tonics and not have to worry about driving along the road on the way home. Speaking of restaurants, Dea really does have it all when it comes to eating and drinking. To name a few of my favorite spots in Dea, we've got Sebastian's, which I absolutely love. The chef is fantastic. We've got a Michelin style restaurant, Estrago de Deish. If you're in the mood for a little bit of a dance and some live music, you can head to Safonda. My absolute favorite for a daytime treat is Shortet. Many of you who know me, you've probably heard me talk about this place so many times. We actually celebrate our annual Charles Marlowe summer party there, which some of you may have come to before. And the great thing about it is that it's literally just a 15 minute walk from Cala de Ya. So you can head there for a smoothie just before you go down to the beach for a swim. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side by friends I need. Don't you tell me that you're in town I already know, couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest, sounds like home Still I'm here alone and I'm calling your so there we have it, we've given you a little bit of a taste of Dea. As I'm sure you can imagine, we've only just touched the tip of the iceberg. There's so much to discover and if you are keen to find out more about this fantastic place, then we would love to help. So please get in touch and we would love to show you around in person one day soon. Bye! I wish I could do something that will make sense I wish I would